song um i think it's actually got another name called johnny ward's tune um gilbert anderson was actually a good friend of mine from edmonton alberta he was a metis fiddle player and the sweetest most mild-mannered man you'd ever meet so we're going to do the very basic tutorial here we will dress it up in the advanced tutorial but for the first little bit here's the first phrase <laughs> Okay, so what I'm doing there is playing three, two, one. And then on that one, I'm alternating from that note uh, over to the three on D. And I'm going one, three, one, three, open three, one on A, three. So I, th that's up to here. And then we go to two on E, low. One, two, open, open. So what we're doing there, and I'll touch more on the feel of it in the advanced tutorial, but the first note, we're not quite as loud. So the second one, we're kind of accenting. So it's, it's a syncopation of sorts. It goes like that. So we're going like that. So let's put that together. Oh, I forgot to tell you about the slur there. Uh, you're slurring on an up bow with a three on D to open D back to three. We'll try that again from the start. Here's the advanced tutorial for Gilbert Anderson's Road Song. This is one of my favorite all-time tunes to play and to teach as well. If people want to um, take a little dive into Métis music, this is a great starting point because it is pretty simple. Um, it's crooked in the fact that there's not the eight bars on each side. Um, we don't have any bars that are longer or shorter so it's not crooked in that sense but it's just not your normal you know eight bars on the a part eight bars on the b part of a fiddle tune um so that's kind of what makes it a little bit different so um the tune is quite simple the only things that I usually add to it are some dronings and when you're doing the string crossings you know from the d to the a um blending in those notes a little bit so you're not playing too clean you don't want to go you know for for the beginner tutorial that's how I teach because I want you to hear each note that you're playing but when you get playing the tune um, you want it to sound like now this is a great example of a tune uh, that needs to have that nice 